Why is my laptop running slower when it's on battery? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. Since 2003, I've been answering tech questions and sharing tech opinions on Ask Leo. Today's question, let me read it to you. Hi, I've noticed my old laptop when connected to the internet runs slower when using the battery compared with AC power, most noticeably when watching videos, YouTube, etc. I've tried Googling for a solution and have changed some settings in power management to try to compensate, but to no avail. I even downloaded a program which claims to solve this problem, but it hasn't. As soon as I pull the AC power from the laptop, the screen noticeably dims even when the battery is fully charged. Brand new battery, by the way. You know, I'm not surprised. I really am not. Let's review why it happens and a couple of things that you might be able to do to at least affect the situation. To be clear, running slower when you're on battery is a feature. It is. The reason is simply this. When you unplug from power, many of the devices on your machine go into a mode where they're using less power. The intent is that while you're plugged in, they can use as much power as they want without any real impact. But while you're running on battery, the more they do, the more power they use, the shorter your battery will last. In other words, you won't be able to run for as long unplugged. So what they do is they turn back their power usage some. The most obvious one that you saw was the display becoming a little bit dimmer. That means that the display is using less electricity and therefore you can run longer on battery. Many devices on your machine or in your machine may in fact do the same. One of the things besides the battery that's actually surprisingly changeable is the CPU speed. When you are plugged in, the CPU is probably running at full speed. But when you're not plugged in, it's very likely that the CPU has been throttled back or has gone into not necessarily a low power mode, but a less fast mode, for lack of a better term, that again, uses less power unless it's actually being requested or required to do something. Now, Windows 10 has a bunch of settings related to this, and I do mean a bunch. So what I want you to do is in the Windows 10 Settings app, Click on System, then Power and Sleep. Scroll down and click on Additional Power Settings to bring up the Control Panel Power Options dialog. You may find one or more power plans listed. Balance seems to be really common, and it, what it represents is probably your computer's manufacturer uh, deciding that, okay, this is a balanced set of settings. It's not as power hungry as it could be, but it's also not as power conserving as it could be. The idea is that they're trying to balance computer performance with battery life. Now, one of those plans is going to be current. In other words, it's the one that's going to be used right now. You can change the plan you're using if you like, or you can modify what the plan settings are. If you click on the settings for the current plan, you'll see that there are a few things you can change. However, most of those have to do with how quickly the display gets turned off or potentially when the machine gets put to sleep. What I want you to do now is click on Change Advanced Power Settings. For a much more exhaustive list of things that be controlled, your list is going to be actually different than mine and what I'm showing you on screen right now. And that's because every computer has a different set of things that can actually react to different power settings in different ways. What you want to do is review this list. You want to understand what happens when your machine is on battery versus when it's plugged in. Make choices that are appropriate for you. Just remember that the more performance you expect while it's running on battery, the shorter the battery is going to last. I mean that you're going to have to plug it in that much sooner in order to keep the machine running. Maybe that's not a problem for you. It's typically not a problem for me. I'm usually pretty close to a place where I can plug in my machine. But if you expect your machine to last for hours and hours on battery alone, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that some of these things are dialed back and using less power while it's on battery. Now, there's one other place I want you to look, and that one's even a little bit more difficult to describe or even help you with specifically, and that's in your BIOS or UEFI settings. How you get to them, 
will depend on your machine. You'll need to check with your manufacturer. It may be as simple as holding down a function key when you reboot. It may be a sequence that you need to go through in Windows 10 itself. The bottom line though is that uh, most BIOSes, most UEFIs have additional what they call power management or APC, advanced power management control. Those settings are similar to what we've been discussing within Windows, but they also represent a level of settings that can be tweaked and configured so as to choose battery over performance or vice versa at the BIOS level. Those are things I would have you look at. It is, as I said, a power performance trade-off. There's no such thing as a free lunch. There just isn't. Either you're going to use your battery quicker and need to plug it in sooner, or your machine is going to run faster um, and your display will be brighter. So those are your choices. I hope that was helpful and helps you locate some of the settings you might be able to tweak to make the machine work more along the lines of what your expectations really are. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure and hit the subscribe button or the like button. That really does help YouTube know that this is a video worth sharing with others and helps them find the answers they're looking for. For links related to the article that this was based on or to leave a comment on that article, visit askleo.com slash 5619. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.